What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and I got another mini PC. So this is the, it's probably backwards right now because I'm recording on my, my phone, but the Warlord Mini W1. So I was pretty excited about this because it's got a lot more horsepower than the previous mini PCs that I've re reviewed and also tried to do some mining on. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to do some mining on this bad boy, and uh, this has not an Intel in it, but an AMD card or sorry AMD CPU. Um, this one has the 32 gigs of RAM with the. Ryzen 7. It just says Ryzen 7. So let's get it open. I don't remember which Ryzen 7 it has, but it's a fairly fairly newer one. So yeah, open this bad boy up and get this thing going. So there she is in all her glory. And yes, it is the Ryzen 7. Gosh, the sticker's on crooked. I don't know why, but that bothers me. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Let's get it open. So, yeah, Ace Magic Warlord Mini. This is the Ryzen 7 8745HS. So, uh, this is eight cores, 16 threads. We'll definitely be able to do put down some hash power and do some mining on this bad boy. So, I'm gonna get it plugged in and powered up and so that way we can start doing things. All right, so noting one thing as I'm unpacking it and looking at the power adapter, um, one reason why I like these little mini computers, I have another one of them actually sitting right there, uh, is because they're low power. So running them is not gonna you know, take three, four, five, six, seven hundred watts. Uh, they're a small form factor, and for the most part, uh, the ones that I've got in the past really just don't have issues. Now, they do lack upgradability, uh, and you're pretty much stuck with what it is. Some of them will let you change out like the storage and the RAM, but uh, it's not like having a full-fledged desktop. So it's a double-edged sword. Now, the power adapter for this one is a max 120 watt power adapter. So that means this computer is not gonna pull more than 120 watts. So super low power to be an eight core, 16 thread machine. Uh, and this does have the integrated um, I can't remember what generation integrated graphics they are, but uh, I think this is the generation that is fairly decent for doing like some some light 1080p gaming. And you know what? We're gonna try to mine on it too. I don't know if it will, but we'll try. All right, guys. So I have the old Ace Magic up and running. Uh, we are downloading the miner files with the unminable application. If you're not familiar, um, I'll put a link down below how to get started on unminable. Um, but we are gonna be mining Dogecoin and we're gonna be mining on our CPU first and it auto converts whatever is most profitable for your CPU to be mining and then pays you out into Dogecoin. So once that's done downloading, I'll get the miner up and running and see what we're gonna be earning. Right. I've been letting it run for a little bit and it is now uh, settled out around 3000 hashes. So um, what does that mean per day and what's it gonna be earning? Uh, on the unminable calculator on their website, that comes out to about 0.4 or almost half a doge per day. Uh, with Dogecoin being at 24 cents, uh, it comes out to about 11 cents per day mining on the CPU. So we are not mining on the integrated graphics right now at all. You'll see right there it's at 4%. CPU's at 80, anywhere from 80 to 100%. I am going to try to mine on that integrated graphics here in a second. I don't know if it's going to work, uh, but if it does, then we'll be able to pull out some even even more because I was hoping for more than 11 cents a day. Hey guys, so we have it mining on the integrated graphics as well as the CPU right now. We are mining some flux and we're still mining on the CPU. So that's kind of impressive for this little device, but it still is underwhelming. Punching these values into the unminable calculators on each of the pages shows that uh, this thing is generating a little over 0.6 Dogecoin a day. So a little over half a Dogecoin a day still only comes out to about 14 cents a day. Not great, uh, considering the fact that um, if we take this 120 watts, and let's actually bring up a, uh, a calculator here so we can do it live. Let's 
see, where's my A? There we go, calculator. Got to find my keyboard down there. So, 120 watts times 24 hours divided by 1,000 times 0.11. So we are burning 31 cents a day to earn 0.6 doge a day. So that 0.6 doge, that means we would realistically need doge to be at, at what, like, To, uh, more than um, 30 more than like 90 cents 80 cents if it was at 80 cents divided by 0.6 oh. 0.6 I don't know what's going on here points anyway it's not profitable. Uh, do I suggest you run out and buy a mini PC to go mine on? That's all up to you. I'm going to be holding my Dogecoin. I'm going to let it uh, accumulate. And I will be also using this computer for other activities. Just like I'm using that one for some other things as well. But, um... I'm, I'm, you know what? Actually, I'm going to be showing off a new coin. And I might use this for testing out some new coins because it does have a good amount of cpu power for its size and the uh the wattage draw but i don't think mining on the gpu um is is very worth it even though it is there it's just very slow anyway guys thanks for coming out i really appreciate it i will link this down below it's not a referral link and it's not a discount link so if you use it it doesn't help me if you don't use it it doesn't help me uh, but anyway, thanks for coming out. I'll see you all on the flip side. Adios.